how to configure and enable disk quota on share folder using file server resource manager in windows server 2016 the file server resource manager is a role in windows server 2016 which is used to enable quotas on share folders this video tutorial will show you the steps on how to share a folder and enable this quota using the file server resource manager for this demonstration we are using windows server 2016 data center evolution edition and this is our domain controller name srd hyphen this is 01 our domain name is my laptop local and already i log in as a domain administrator on this server so we have a permission to install file server resource manager to install file server resource manager you have to open server manager and on a server manager dashboard you have to click on manage and you have to select add roles and features on before you begin screen you have to click on next button select role base or feature base installation and then click on next select destination server in our case i'll be selecting my local server srt-dc01.mylab.local and then i'm going to click on next button on select server role console we have to expand file and storage services and under we have to expand file and iSCSI services and then we have to select file server resource manager let's select it let's click on add features to add required features let's click on next we do not require any additional features so leave it to default and then click on next button now let's click on install to start the installation process okay as you can see file server resource manager feature has been installed successfully on our local server let's click on close to close this console now we will set up quota enforcement this function allows the server administrator to restrict the size of a folder so that it cannot grow past a certain size in the second step we'll be creating one share folder using file and storage services to taste quota enforcement for that we have to click on file and storage services on server manager console now let's uh, click on shares now let's create one a new share folder by clicking on task and then select new share on select the profile for the share i'm going to select smb share quick because first i want to create normal share folder and then we will be applying fsrm quota let's click on next now select the location uh, let's uh, select type a custom path and then let's click on browse button select d drive and click on new folder let's specify name folder one select the folder so path will be d colon slash folder one let's click on next and here i'm going to specify share name share one so this is the local path and this is the remote path to access our shared folder let's click on next here I'm going to select enable access based enumeration options and then I'm going to click on next button. So we are going with the default permission. If you want to modify the NTFS permission, then you can modify by clicking on customize permissions. Let's click on next and let's click on create to create a new share folder. Okay, the share folder has been created successfully. Let's click on close to close this console. So now we have a one share folder name share one. In the third step, we'll be enabling quota on our shared folder name share one. So now we have to open file service resource manager management console. So to do that, we have to click on tools and then we have to select file server resource manager. Okay, here I'm going to click on quota management. Here we have an options to select quotas or if you want to create uh, quota templates, you can click on quota templates by default there are certain templates which are ready to use you can use any of this or you can create your own quota template let's click on create quota template to create a new template you can also copy properties from specific quota template that are available on our server now i'm going to copy the property of 100 mb limit let's specify template name okay and description these two templates i'm going to specify size 50 MB and that would be hard quota do not allow users to exit this limit you can also use soft quota for monitoring purpose now for notification thresholds i'm going to click on add button 
So generate a notification when users reaches at 75 percentage. You can also send the email to your administrator. But for this demonstration, I'm going to select send a warning to event log. And I'm going to click on OK button. Again, I'm going to click on add button. 95. Again, let's click on event log. OK. Now let's click on OK button. And here we go. Now we have a one more quota template. Now let's click on quotas. Let's click on create quota. Browse the path. Which is a D drive. And for the one. Now I'm going to select create quota on path options. And then here we have a options to select quota templates. From that menu, I'm going to select my lab 50 MB quota template. Okay. Let's click on create to create quota on the path D column slash folder one. And here we go. So as you can see, we have successfully applied this quota on our share folder name share one, which is created on D drive with the folder name folder one. So in the last step, let's test the result of our disk quota enforcement. For this demonstration, I have a one more client computer. That is Windows 10 and let's log in as a one of our domain user named test user 1 to our Windows 10 client computer. Now try to access the shared folder which we created on our domain controller. So let's open a run menu and at the run I'm going to type UNC path and the IP address of our domain controller that is 192.168.49.101. And here we go. Now we have one shared folder. Okay, now just for testing purpose, uh, I'm going to put some data on our share folder. Let's copy some of the file. And let's create a new folder. I'm going to do name test and let's paste under paste folder. Okay, let's uh, skip it. Okay, now uh, if you see the size of our TS21 folder. Okay, it is 49.6 MB. Now, let's uh, paste it again. And here we go. Now we are receiving a message that the additional 115 MB is needed to copy this item. Delete or move files so you have enough space on your folder. So now we can say user is only able to store data up to the quota limit and which we set 50 MB for this demonstration purpose. And after user reaches the quota limit, if user try to store data, that time user will receive one warning that there is a not enough space on a share folder. So let's cancel it and uh, let's move back to our domain controller. I'm going to open uh, event viewer because we want to check the event as well. So let's open event viewer. Okay, on event viewer, let's expand custom views and let's click on add insert view events. And this is the event which we are looking for. Let's double click on it. Okay, here we are receiving a message that uh, is saying us user mylab slash user one has exceeded the 75 percentage quota threshold for the quota on a D column slash folder one. On server as rd this is 01. The quota limit is 50 MB and 37.52 MB currently is in use. And here, this is the another event warning. User mylab slash user 1 has exceeded 95% quota threshold for the quota on a D column slash folder 1 on server as rd this is 01. The quota limit is 50 MB and 49.27 MB currently is in use. So this is the way how we can configure and enable disk quota on a shared folder using file server resource manager in Windows Server 2016. That's it for this video demonstration. Thank you all for watching this video.